this sunstone and then you amplify it with the tiger's eye, there is something about those combinations that is a complete appetite suppressant. I literally feel like, well, I've never done it, but like if you did meth or cocaine, you know how they all get thin and they like are strung out and all, I mean the thin part. You guys, you guys have officially made me lose my marbles! Kimmy, Kimmy, Kim, you are really making me lose my marbles. Or should I say my beads? Hey guys, it's Madison Harnish back in my blue kitchen for another crazy video. And this video is a very much needed update on my video, MLM Magic Beads. And first off, I have a few things I want to say about that video in particular. I want to thank everyone for all of the support shown on that video. It truly upsets me, the scammers in the world that get away with making false claims and spreading misinformation. And I'm so happy that light was able to be shed on this particular situation and what is happening with Kim Marshall. I want to give a huge thanks to the Reddit community, r slash unique presenter KM. That was a huge research resource in that video, and though I included them in a link in the description for my research resources, I did not credit them in the video, and I personally take issue with that on that video, so I wanna remedy that and say, the subreddit r slash unique presenter KM is a great subreddit that you can check out for usual updates on this situation. Though today in this video itself, I'm mainly gonna talk about my own research that I have been doing recently. There's been a lot of changes to this situation and a lot of updates, and I just had to talk about it. Today, we are really diving into the science here, like really diving in. If you're not subscribed, but you enjoy deep dives into unethical business practices and scams going on in the world, then you'll probably like this channel. So definitely don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And well, let's get into the video. For those of you who don't know who unique presenter KM or Kim Marshall is, she is a very public figure in the unique makeup MLM. She's an orange level presenter, at least to my knowledge, and is also known for her own Facebook page, Primp and Pucker, where she does a lot of live streams and promotes a lot of products. As you probably already noticed in this video, I am going to not blur her face and I'm going to be saying her name, saying her social medias. I'm doing this because she's a very public figure. She already puts herself out there a lot. And in my opinion, if you are a public figure, who is going to a large group or a large audience and spreading misinformation or doing really, really shady stuff, you deserve to be called out for it and you should be called out for it. So that's why I'm going to say her name openly and show her photos and videos openly on this video. The biggest controversy highlighted in my initial video was about how KM was shilling these bracelets as if they're these magical bracelets that can heal all of your ailments. The company itself is called Bombshell Beads, pointing them BS Beads, AKA bullshit beads, and they're sold at the most ridiculous prices you could see for a beaded bracelet. Now, what has happened since then? Her website is nowhere to be found. And instead, when you go on to primpandpucker.com, you are automatically redirected to Kim's unique page. Everything on that website seems to be completely wiped out. Also, as of recently, she has been talking a lot more about her affiliate codes and mentioning them more often. It also seems like overall, Kim is making more of an effort to point out that she is not making claims with what she's saying about her beads. Where's the claim you ask? It's right there. But I will say I don't think she's doing that as well as she thinks she is, which is what I'm gonna talk about today. 
Now we're about to dive into this, but I have one more thing I want to say before we do. I want to reiterate that this is not a hate video. It's not. This is not a drama video. I don't want beef with Kim. In fact, I'm really happy with the changes that have been made. Even if they're very small changes, I want Kim to be a positive influence on her audience. I want her to do good. In this video, I will not comment on her appearance. Even though she kind of looks like Karen Tron 9000. Okay, just that one time, I just had to. But besides that, I'm not gonna comment on her appearance. I'm not gonna make digs on her grammar. I also get digs on my grammar all the time. People pick apart an argument because someone spelled or pronounced a word wrong that really has nothing to do with the general argument a person is making. And I also don't wanna talk about her family or her personal life whatsoever. I just will not go there. But I will talk about her unethical business practices and some shady things that she is doing because my passion and what I'm trying to do with my channel is highlight scams and unethical practices that are going on that may be illegal or at the very least extremely unethical. And that's what we're gonna dive into today. To give more pretext to what I'm about to share with you guys, I have to highlight two very important terms. Let me bring my little laptop closer. Because we are debunking all of Kim Marshall's studies that she has done on these crystals in her beads, there are two very important terms when it comes to debunking arguments. The first one is argument from ignorance. Argument from ignorance, also known as appeal to ignorance, is a fallacy in informational logic. It asserts that a proposition is true because it has not been proven false, or a proposition is false because it has not yet been proven true. An example of this that's particularly important is false positives, often seen in anecdotal evidence, superstitions, correlation causation fallacies, and experiments with a very small sample size. For example, I took a placebo pill and now my symptoms are completely gone. The placebo cured my symptoms. Correlation does not equal causation. The other thing I want to cover is anecdotal evidence, which was slightly referenced in the argument from ignorance. Anecdotal evidence is evidence from anecdotes. Evidence collected in a casual or informal manner and relying heavily or entirely on personal testimony. So Kim has been up to a lot recently. In fact, a lot of stuff that is extremely appalling to me. Now, I'm not sure if she's doing it simply to get attention. I think that there's a lot of people nowadays who prescribe to the idea that all press is good press. But when it comes to doing shady and maybe illegal practices, that's not the case. First thing I wanna go into is luckily something I saw recently in the middle of doing this research. Let's check out Kim Marshall's Instagram story. So, these beads, okay? These have not left my hand. I have been going on and on about them, okay, for some time. Um, they have not left my wrist and I cannot tell you how freaking long, okay? And I told you a chicken story, okay? And I swear to God on my kids' lives, that's absolutely true. And then yesterday, um, I was like, oh my God, I have not eaten. What does that sound like? Kind of sounds like a false positive. Correlation doesn't mean causation. Just because you had beads on your wrist for an extended period of time and then found that you didn't have hunger cravings, means somehow that these beads aren't making you hungry? Tell me, how does that work? How do beads just block hunger signals from reaching you? How? But if anything, having beads that block hunger signals sounds extremely dangerous, not as exciting as you're making it sound, Kim Marshall. I cannot tell you. I think more than like, you know how I told you it, it increased your metabolism, and bird fats. Okay, that's fantastic. But I'm telling you, there's something, it's almost an appetite suppressant. I swear to God. And I've been talking to Megan about it because she is, um, you know, making the bracelets and she's like, Kim, she's like, Steven, which is her husband, they have said the exact same thing because they're working with the stones making the bracelets. 
anecdotal evidence. Just because everyone's experiencing something doesn't mean it's true. That would mean mass hysteria and mass hallucinations that have been recorded throughout history would be valid just because everyone experiences it. I cannot believe it. I, I just cannot. Like, I'm having to make myself eat. Why is this a good thing? You want to lose weight not because you are, like, starving yourself and not feeling hungry. You want to lose weight by living a healthier life, eating healthy foods that make you feel full and satiated and being active in life. Not only is that the best and most effective way to lose weight and live a healthy life, but it's also so much more fulfilling. You're so much happier as a person when you're doing that as opposed to wearing a beaded bracelet that somehow is allowing you or causing you to starve. What the? And because it's so much more prevalent because I haven't worn these for so long because when I, I couldn't show you guys for a long time because they weren't ready to launch. But Megan has been showing me some messages and talking to me about pe things that people are saying to her like, oh my God, I can see the change in Kim. I can totally see it. You guys, it is this combination. There's something about this combination, wearing two of the trios and not taking them off I, I mean, I am not, I don't even want to eat. Two of the trios. Let's see how expensive that is. Two trios. So yeah, for some reason, it's not only effective to have one trio, which is three bracelets, but you have to purchase two and wear them. I accidentally clicked bombshell breeds instead of bombshell beads. Yikes. The weight loss trio. There we go. The weight loss trio is 145. And Kim is trying to tell us that we need to purchase two of those. Two. That's $290 so that you can supposedly not have hunger signals. I was just in doing some paperwork somewhere and they have a little, little snack bar. And I walked by it. You guys, I didn't like the potato chips. I was like, mm mm. Granola bars, mm mm. Like cheesy crackers. Cheese must be the beads. Hashtag must be the beads. Okay, so I walked by like the concession stand snack bar area. And if you ha have ever struggled with your weight, like I have my entire life, okay, I got called names and school I have always always been someone that has struggled with my weight my entire life I mean literally my entire life I feel like this is targeting people who are really struggling with their weight and who are more vulnerable because of that because maybe they've dealt with being made fun of they've dealt with adversity and social issues their whole life it's disgusting. And I cannot tell you, the tourmaline was huge for me because it was an, you know, um, reduces water weight, inflammation, that kind of thing. But this sunstone, and then you amplify it with the tiger's eye, there is something about those combinations that is a complete appetite suppressant. I literally feel like well I've never done it but like if you did meth or cocaine you know how they all get thin and they like are strung out and all I mean the thin part like you guys I can what mentioning skinny and skinny I guess I should add a part about why this angers me so so much apart from even everything else when I was 14, I was in a modeling agency and I was told constantly to lose more and more weight because they wanted to brand me as heroin skinny. That was the exact terminology they used. Using a drug addiction or a drug problem as a way to market something that is desirable, that people should want, is disgusting, it's gross, it should never be a thing. Ever. Okay, so... In conclusion, I'm sorry, I went into a lot of detail there, but I, if you don't think that they work or you're gonna send me a nasty message, just go on, I don't care, okay, this is not for you. But if this is something that you're intrigued by. How convenient. These beads are just, they're not for me. Yeah. And you 
for Im more information, go to my Facebook page, watch the video that the live video that I did on it when I explain exactly how it works. But we're gonna, Kim, we're gonna watch that. Just stay tuned. We're gonna get to that. I give you uh, scientific proof how it works. Um, they change your life. And today is the last day for 25% off site-wide. Um, you can get anything your heart desires. Um, and then it will go back to 20% after midnight tonight. But I, I'm telling you, you guys, this is something that is extraordinary that I feel like it's I cannot believe that we discover it and this is exactly what I wear, two duos. I can't believe you discovered it either, Kim. I can't believe that because I'm wondering if this is truly so extraordinary, extraordinating, if this is truly so extraordinary, why haven't doctors discovered it? How come it's you, Kim, who's wanting to sell this magical product instead of maybe giving it to medicine if it's truly that life transforming? or giving it away to charities. Yeah, thought so. That, or excuse me, two trios, I cannot. And then she shares her code, which it's a little weird after talking about wearing a bead that makes you not feel hungry to share a discount code on then purchasing said expensive bead. Um, stone, there are, each bead, they're completely irregular and completely different love how she's adding this i think because of the whole controversy about how her beads might not be real then on her instagram story she shares testimonials i received these gorgeous bracelets the other day and thank you again for introducing me to bombshell beads if it's beneficial for you why do you care how they look you know like I think about other medical products we use, they're not made to look pretty because they do something beneficial for you. If something's made to look pretty, nine times out of 10, it's not something that has a truly medical purpose. She circles the beads and says, crazy hair, but that collarbone be poppin'. Once again, coming from the modeling industry, where eating disorders and problems around eating is very popular. We were getting compliments if our collarbones were popping more than usual. There was one time where you could see the rib bones on my chest and that was celebrated because of how skinny I looked. That you could see the rib bones, that you could see my shoulder bones. And to, to come from that and see that kind of language with someone trying to sell magic beaded bracelets, it's promoting such an unhealthy idea of what it is to be healthy. Another upsetting one. Oh my gosh. She posts stones specific to the virus, healing stones, and she circles her code. She circles her discount code saying, stone specific to the virus. Report, report, report. This is not okay. I'm like, is she doing this deliberately? Is she somehow doing this because she knows it'll set people off? Like, I just don't get it. Oh, kim-marshall.com. Oh, so here's some new facts. Actually, you know how earlier I said her primp and pucker website looks down? It's not, the website name was just changed. She changed the website name to Kim-Marshall. Wow, every single positive thing I just had to say about her and how she has made adjustments and made changes, I take that all back. Are you kidding me? You know that that website, Primp and Pucker, was starting to get eyes on it, so you changed the website name. I cannot believe you. Literally, I tried in the very beginning of this video to say positive things about this person, and then every single positive thing I had to say was completely wrong. I urge you guys, if you believe that illegal actions are happening here, as I do currently, I'm providing in a comment in this video, pinned to the top, a link to the FTC website where she can be reported. This needs to stop. To say beads can help with the virus, no, 
No. Another one. Weight loss trio testimonies coming in hot. I know. Just this evening, I told my husband and said, I don't have an appetite lately. I'm really not hungry. Yes, thank you, Lord. As mentioned in the other video, a way for people to skate around making claims directly about their product is to provide testimonials and to use their own testimonial. Instead of blatantly saying, this will make you not hungry, she's saying, I've been wearing this and I'm not hungry. And this person says the same thing. What could it be? Maybe some BS on my wrist. I'm being mean, I'm being mean, but I'm upset. I'm sorry, I'm really upset. Another Instagram story, all in red. People, they work, period. With a message that says, Hi Megan, I just saw Kim Marshall's video and she was talking about the sunstone and I'm like, OMG, yes, me too, more. Oops, more energy and not hungry. I'll buy another. Placebos are real, guys. I don't think I highlighted this in the other video, but if you're a part of the crystal community, I respect you. This video is not to bash on you. You are free to believe whatever you want. I have an issue with this woman taking those beliefs and creating outrageous claims and outrageous stories surrounding crystals and their benefits to shill out to her audience relentlessly. That is my issue. Kim makes a few videos where she tries to pretend like there's a bunch of studies around crystals and their benefits, and we're debunking them all. By the way, the sun is going down right now. I'm gonna try and film this video and just power through it and hope that it just doesn't go completely dark out before I finish this video, but just letting you guys know if it becomes dark or I have to film on another day, that's just what's going on right now. Anyways, I came across this video with Kim Marshall as well, and this is one of her Facebook live streams. Defensive and mad, and I just, why would you get mad if something works that's all natural? We're not mad because something works and it's all natural. We're mad because it doesn't work and you're claiming it does. It enhances the effects of the other stones, um, and the best way that I can put it in layman's terms is uh, first of all, go watch my video about bracelets because I give tons of tangible evidence from um, Harvard professors and no, and lots and lots of scientists. But um, similar to the way reflexology works, okay, that there are specific areas on your body. Reflexology. Reflexology. Similar to the way reflexology works. You'll notice throughout these videos, Kim throws out these random terms that are kind of obscure and it makes her sound intelligent and like what she's saying is like an actual sentence that makes sense but it doesn't this is all just bs as much as her beads are and we're gonna talk about it though because she wanted to throw out the studies we're gonna debunk all of them today one by one just to show how much of a scammer this woman really is reflexology so she's saying her beads work similar to the way reflexology works. Reflexology, also known as zone therapy, is an alternative medicine practice involving the application of pressure to specific points on the feet and hands. Feet. <laughs> this is done using specific thumb, finger, and hand massage techniques without the use of oil or lotion. It's based on a pseudoscientific system of zones and reflex areas that purportedly reflect an image of the body on the feet and hands. What? And what does that have to do with crystals or beads? In 2015, the Australian government's Department of Health published the results of a review of alternative therapies that sought to determine if any were suitable for being covered by health insurance. Reflexology was one of the 17 therapies evaluated for which no clear evidence of effectiveness was found. So to say that you have research from Harvard medical doctors and then you cite reflexology, which has no evidence of any benefits, that's absolutely absurd. That correspond with different things. And 
stones made from the earth have vibrational energy, right? Stones made from the earth have vibrational energy, okay? Right, and we have vibrational energy, like our- We have vibrational energy? So I was actually really curious about whether or not stones have vibrational energy. I googled crystals and vibrational energy, nothing came up. I actually had to dig really deep. The only thing I could find was a physics site where someone asks any scientific basis behind crystal energy. And there's three answers. Crystals have internal energy, including some energy associated with molecular vibrations. Amorphous materials have internal energy, including some energy associated with molecular vibrations. In addition to molecular vibrations, crystals can exhibit mechanical macroscopic vibrations. An example of a resonant macroscopic vibrator is a tuning fork, but note that most tuning forks are made am of amorphous metals. Crystals offer no special benefit here either. A few crystals exhibit the piezoelectric effect. A mechanical stress induces an electric field and vice versa. This is not specific to crystals. Polymers such as polyvinyl lidine, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, fluoride also exhibit the same effect. In sum, there's no special energy that crystals have that other materials do not have. And they say scams. Googling your keyword in your question, I found this site, which claims crystal energy is the power that crystals naturally give off and that you're able to use to heal yourself. This claim is nonsense. Each stone, okay, has a unique vibrational um, code and and that speaks to our body. Think of it this way, shamans, healers, things from the earth um, directly correlate with humans. And so that's exactly what happens. So similar to an oil, which is a distilled plant, um, it works with our body. And these freaking work. like shamans healers things from the earth there's no evidence that oils work with our body as highlighted in my young living video but i think that what kim is trying to do here is use this practice of essential oils which you should not ingest and you should be cautious of because animals can be very deathly allergic to them she's trying to jump on that to peddle th these crystal beads too and try and make it become like an essential oil thing. I don't think very many people are buying it, especially with the price of those bracelets. I'm living proof of it. You've seen my journey. Everyone else that can give you, um, that has purchased them, that you know has lowered their blood pressure or gotten off their medication, which I'm not recommending, so don't at me. You aren't recommending, but you kind of are alluding to the fact that it's possible. I say alluding to the fact a lot, but you are saying it's possible. It's not possible for beads on your wrist to help you stop taking your medication. It's not. Other things can help you maybe. Beads cannot. But I'm telling you, they are life changers and they people get so defensive and mad. And I just... Why would you get mad if something works that's all natural? I mean, get over it. It doesn't work though, it doesn't. And just because you are claiming it works for you doesn't mean it does. By the way, you are in this video, throughout this video, you say this works, it works. That sounds like a claim to me. The best video has to be Kim Marshall's science video. And must I say, Kim, you look dashing and particularly intelligent, much intellect in this video. Love the glasses. What different cultures used these for? Okay, used these for. Okay, in India, they used in sun healing rituals. Greece, it was used for depression. Um, it's dedicated to the sun god Helios, and Native Americans offered it for protection from the evil spirits. Saying that a specific culture used something, which is why you should use it too, is a version of anecdotal evidence. Cultures have done a lot of things that we don't do nowadays and that scientists and just people in general don't recommend. 
It's also super predatory to claim that you should do something because cultures throughout history have done it. People that do those things do it because it's a part of their culture, not a practice that you can hijack to shill out your beads. Native Americans also wore headdresses as a symbol for strength and bravery, but does that mean that the white chicks wearing headdresses at Coachella suddenly gained extreme strength, courage, and bravery? No, they just looked like a goon, like you do, Kim. Been used since the beginning of time, right? When you think of before we had man-made medicine, what do we have? We had what the earth gave us, and it's not a mistake. God never, ever, ever makes a mistake. You may think God never makes mistakes, but humans definitely do. Like, not properly disclosing their affiliate links. Huh, Kim? Isn't that a mistake? Yeah. Ever. Everything is intentional, right? They work. They're amazing. Um, Rita, here's what I say. Buy as many as your budget allows because one is better than none, but it may not be enough for you to start seeing a change, okay? okay. I'm sorry, what? Did you hear that? She literally just went from saying they're amazing to if you don't buy enough, they won't work. Made by God, good for you. Okay, and there's no side effects. So if I'm super depressed, right? I need to take depression medication, I'm super upset. Um, I've got, you know, I just am in a funk, right? When I take medication, guess what happens? There's side effects that come with that. Guess what happens with these? Not a damn thing. I'm sorry, what did you say? What happens when you use those? Say that again. Not a damn thing. Not a damn thing? Oh, okay. Makes sense. Let me Google the side effects of not properly treating your depression. Oh. Oh. Yeah. The funniest part of all of this is side effects happen because a medication is actually interacting with your body. Because it's actually interacting and making a change to your body, you get side effects. It's very unfortunate. And a lot of people won't use medications because they don't want side effects. I've always been very hesitant to use medications because I get afraid of the side effects. And to take advantage of people like that by saying, well, this has zero side effects. Well, that's because it doesn't even work on your body. The only time you're taking them off is when you come in contact with water. Learn to type with them. I've heard that BS story so many times. Stop giving me the excuses. Stop it. I don't care, okay, when you're like this and you have to type with them and you're gonna have to learn how to type with them, do it. Learn how to type with them because you're not gonna take them off. Yeah, this is the one if you have some serious weight to lose, here's your stack right here. And I would double up here. But tourmaline, tiger's eye, and then the sunstone. Yeah, serious weight loss. The only weight you're losing is the weight from your wallet when she steals all of your money. Which reminds me, today's video is sponsored by Doodoo -doo Beads. With Doodoo -doo Beads, you can lose weight in the most unexpected places, like your wallet, maybe a piggy bank, that safe with all your savings that you keep in your closet. Lose all of that, just cut it loose. You'll have so much less weight to worry about. Trim all that extra fat by purchasing our poo poo doo doo beads and don't you ever take them off so don't forget to buy our poo poo doo doo bracelets and lose all that extra weight you've been carrying around hey like all the strung out drug users say if you don't have any money you don't have anything to buy food with it really is the best weight loss strategy Sorry to my mother-in-law who actually bought me that bracelet. That was not actually a BS Beads bracelet. Thank you to my mother-in-law for helping me with that bit unknowingly. Let me do tourmaline real quick while I have this one up, okay? 
and I have all kinds of studies that are crazy, but listen to this, okay? So tourmaline, when it's affected by heat, it replaces moisture with negative ions. Negative ions are, ions are prevalent in nature, usually at a waterfall or after a thunderstorm. When you're in the presence of negative ions, you develop a positive feeling. One of the reasons for these positive vibes is the fact that negative ions remove toxins such as pollutants and chemicals from your body. No, it won't. Toxins aren't a real thing. Along with the energy from your body, the energy from tourmaline will protect you from pathogens, radiation, and other external harms. Nope, pretty much nothing can protect you from radiation. Tourmaline will assist with the functions of the intestines and colon. When you digest food efficiently, your metabolism will increase. You go to the restroom all the time because you're full of the same BS that you're selling. It is negative ions assist with the physical health as well as mental health and a perfect example of cell regeneration. Tourmaline is the perfect example of cell regeneration? Are you serious? Are we even on the same planet? Have I stumbled into a completely different dimension and that's why everything this lady is saying makes absolutely no logical sense to me? She's saying that tourmaline can help regenerate your cells. What planet have I stumbled onto? You silly doctors, you don't need stitches or bandages. Throw that baby on some tourmaline and it'll do the rest. Okay, and these right here, and I will make sure and put them, these are all studies on PubMed about tourmaline and how they are so effective. That stone is so effective for everything I just told you. And I know that I went into so much detail, but it's very, very important that you understand how much these stones are attributed to your overall health, right? First off, I have no idea what she's talking about with PubMed and how these are all PubMed studies. They are literally all arguments of ignorance and they are all false positive arguments. So I have no idea what she's saying from what it looks like. She doesn't even link the articles anywhere. She just shows them from her iPad on the screen. Still, I'm gonna link an article down below on how you can determine if a study is a fake study or a biased study, which it seems like all of these definitely are. How can any of these be scientific studies? She doesn't even reference when she speaks about them, who the study was from. She mentions Harvard at the ver very beginning, but doesn't mention where, what study that was that she talks about, doesn't mention anything about the sources of these studies. And these studies also use phrases like positive feelings vibes and toxins, which are illegitimate phrases to use. They're not scientific terms in any way. Um, which ones help with um, aiding in uh, gut health? Um, amethyst is a huge one. It regulates gut, gut flora with reinforces immunity. Sunstone right here is gonna aid in digestion. This is what increases your metabolism which is so important for gut health. So damn important for gut health. People are asking her about specific conditions and she is recommending them to purchase one of these bracelets depending on their condition. Once again, FTC report link pinned in the comments down below. Do with that what you'd like. Oh. Um, anything for depression? Yes, this is the... This stone that's just released tonight, Robin, this is the supreme stone for depression. The supreme, and it's sunstone. It is supreme, it is the very top that helps with depression, alleviates depression, okay? And um, it's going, that, that's why I say, does this not make sense to everybody? Someone asked what bead she recommends for depression. And without thinking about it, without hesitating, without recommending, they seek professional help. She told them they should purchase this bracelet. Even just saying also seek professional help. Nope, she just said this bracelet helps with depression. This bracelet's for depression. Never said also, if you're dealing with depression, seek medical help. A professional that's not trying to scam you and get all of your money, it's 
disgusting. And I am so heated right now. Kim has a lot of disclaimers on every post she makes, and it feels like it's a subtle way to threaten people who comment on her posts legitimate concerns, a way to threaten them that she is going to sue them for doing so. I am not afraid of Kim Marshall bullying me. What I'm afraid of is her audience getting genuinely harmed from the advice and products that she's shilling and the shady tactics that she does to shill them. Sorry about the lighting, it's gotten really awful. I should probably invest in some lighting equipment so this doesn't continue happening. That's all I have to say on today's video. Um, I really don't know what else to say. A lot of this is so disheartening and yeah, I'm at a loss. I'm at a loss. I would say like this video and subscribe and all that stuff, but it feels weird to say that right after such upsetting information. So, you know, I just hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that we can all together work to stop this. I, I struggle with sympathy for Kim because some of this stuff is so shady and manipulative, it's awful. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, have a good one. Thank you.